I was looking online, uh, there was a study I found by Elaine Eklund and Christopher Scheidel, possibly, uh, I'm not sure of the pronunciation, mm -hmm. but they did a, a, a study on disbelief in God by academics, and it basically had physics, 40%, mm -hmm. uh, chemistry, 26%, biology, 41 and then they went into some of the softer sciences, they said overall, 31.2%. Uh, but you know what I thought was really interesting, I guess because anybody mm -hmm. could argue, argue with these statistics, was the idea that their conclusion was, it is true that science, scientists believe less in the existence of God than the general public of the United States. However, the recent study mm -hmm. reveals that the most important factors in belief were related to upbringing, family status, and not the area of expertise. Is that surprising? No, uh, it's not surprising to me at all because I, I really don't see a conflict between faith and science. As I said, uh, you know, there's so much evidence from science for creation, for intelligent creation, and for a soul. We've talked on this program before about near-death experiences and the good peer-reviewed medical studies of those uh, near-death experiences. There's so much evidence out there right now that that's coming through that any scientist who really wants to confirm their faith according to their upbringing is generally going to have more than enough evidence to confirm their faith from the vantage point of science. There is really no need to, to interrupt. I, I agree with the results of that study that uh, many of the, the scientists who do not have faith uh, either were not brought up in an environment of faith or alternatively um, they, um, mm. uh, you know, they, they had parents maybe who had a, a, a very uh, uh, hard view of God uh, that that uh, some that the, the child now become a scientist has rejected. So God is a cruel person. God doesn't care about our salvation. You mm -hmm. know, God is uh, you, you know somebody who who just basically you know throws the world into existence and makes right. people suffer. But it's a very unnuanced view of God or a very cruel notion of God. And sometimes when they're given that view of God from either their childhood religion or their parents, they do walk off and, mm -hmm. and, and reject God uh, pretty much in total. Well, what was also, so yes, that, yeah, right. that's definitely there. What was also interested yeah, in this study, I thought, was the point they made that the correlation, you would tend to think sometimes the high end, you know, like physics, chemistry, biology, astrophysics, these are the kind of things people would talk about and think, well, these scientists, they're really dealing with these kind of realities and so you can understand why they can't find the facts. But they were pointing out the fact that sociology, mm -hmm. economics, political science, psychology, that those yeah. social sciences have the same percentages. And it was an interesting idea yeah. that the people went into that had that much where their particular scientific function wouldn't seem to have any relationship to understanding whether there was or wasn't a God. Yeah, yeah, in fact, uh, frequently enough sometimes, you know, people in literature have higher incidence of, of atheism than uh, people in the natural sciences, uh, particularly physics and physical chemistry. And so that, that's a kind of an interesting thing. The other mm -hmm. thing that's, that's rather interesting, uh, too, is that um, engineers have a remarkably high rate of faith. You know, again, a very hard discipline. Uh, you know, in terms of you know knowing your math and your and your physics. If you don't, the bridge mm -hmm. comes down. You know, the the point is uh, uh, pretty clear right. that there is not a correlation between hard science or hard engineering on the one hand, and and uh, literature, or philosophy, uh, you know, or uh, you know history or whatever on on the, or sociology on the other hand, mm -hmm. psychology. So for all intents and purposes, um, it really does more right. depend on. Uh, you know, what the personal uh, feelings are of a person, the way in which they were raised, or maybe some suffering that they, they, they couldn't deal with properly, and so forth.